Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on the understanding of the database models. So we know that during the development of the Informatica MDM hub model schema, we should aware or we should know the how the data model works because if you don't have the understanding of the database model it is very hard to implement or to configure the MDM database so I thought I should give it uh, uh, details about the database models so that you can easily understand the model and you can easily implement or the configure into the MDM hub so let's start with the today's session with this database model the data, database models are broadly classified into three categories. First is called as early data models, which are uh, those are designed. These database models are designed in the year like 1960s or 1970s. Later on, after the la uh, 1970s, the relational models were designed. After relational models, now in current market we have the uh, like the object oriented models those are also called as post relation database models so these are the three categories of the database models early data model relational data model and the post relational database model so let's start one by one in the early data data model uh, basically there are three types of data models i have just highlighted only two that is hierarchical model and the network model Along with that, we also have the file data model. File data model is kind of, it is as good as a Windows system where we have the files, we are maintaining everything as a file. But in the, uh, so the design of the file database model is like that, we can save the files. So it, it is very unstructured, like the same data might be contained in the multiple files. So there is no relationship between one file with the other. So the duplicate data was uh, found. So that was the issue. Uh, in order to overcome this issue, the hierarchy model was designed. So let's see what is the hierarchical model. So we know that in uh, real time world, there is always a hierarchy. That is, uh, there is always child and parent relationship. Consider this model where the customer, it has a profile, profile like the first name, last name, age, gender, etc. Then it has address like the uh, it might have the physical address, electronic address, or the telephone. Electronic also have the web and the email. Uh, the customer also has the identity. So this is kind of a hierarchy. So here the customer will be will be the parent for the profile address and the identity tables. Uh, while the address will be the parent for the physical, electronic, and telephone tables. So here uh, and the child. Um, so we also call the the physical, electronic, and uh, telephone will be the child for the address table or the profile address and identity will be the child for the customer. So there is always a parent child relationship between the hierarchy model. The challenge is in this model is the when you try to search a particular record, the performance of the search is very um, low. It's not good performance oriented model. So in order to overcome that, the network model is designed. Why uh, the reason about the performance is that if you see, so for the each child, there is only one parent. For each child, there is only one parent. A parent can have the multiple childs, but for the each child, there is only one parent. That is the reason the performance was not good with the hierarchical model. That the false or that uh, drawback is resolved with the network model. So it is also early early stage data model uh, where the the child can also have the multiple parents in this case the order have the uh, like this is the model where the store is a parent it has the child customer manager and the salesman the customer ma manager and the salesman also have the order as a child that means the order have the <coughs> three parent customer manager and the salesman so this kind of model is called as network model uh, so it has also own faults. Uh, so nowadays no one uses this network uh, network model because um, it is in the real time scenario. It is not convenient or it is not uh, it is not business oriented solution it is providing. So that's why it is no more use. Then in the 1970s, the different type of relational data models got designed. So 
the relation database models are there are two types that is entity relationship model and dimensional model so where the each uh, thing in the universe is treated as an entity and those are related or those two entities or the multiple entities are related with each other by their relationship the dimensional model is like um, uh, one of the flavor of the entity relationship model so let's have a look on this entity relationship model here the supplier project and the par part so these are the three main entities the relationship between the supplier and the part is uh, actually achieved by the stocks supplier supplies the uh, to the uh, supplier supplies to the project so supply is another relationship part is a need of project so needs is a relationship between the project and the part each of these main table have their own attributes like the project have their name need has the when and priority these are the attributes part have the name serial number and the cost the supplier have the, its own name and the suppliers have the uh, contract so th this kind of model is called as a entity relationship model so where the each thing in the universe is treated as entity and the the link between these two is achieved using their relationship so the entity relationship model is very high performance oriented and uh, we can easily search the record and it is um, in the market nowadays we use the entity relationship model what is then dimensional model so here if you see this model for the uh, like dimension date fact cells dimension store dimension product so each of these has a unique column id they have the particular dimension like for the date we have the date day day of the week month so each uh, attribute each thing or each entity is treated as a dimension and um, even the fact and the, the fact table is a feature of the dimension model where the the two entities are interrelated by the fact table so it is called as also called as association table in the entity relationship model so it is also have the good performance so depend on the business requirement either you can go with the dimensional model or the uh, entity relationship model um, then what are the post relational data models so there are several post relational data model in the today's session we will cover only the two of this post relation data model the first is graph model and the second is object oriented database model in the graph model if you see so entity like this uh, so this is the one of the um, we said it's a object the object has id uh, its name and the age similarly there will be multiple objects available in the database and those will be interlinked or those will have the, some relations like the uh, this object with the name allies alice uh, have the id as 100 label as known and it is active since this to this like the, to, it is active since 2001 10 0, 3. Similarly, um, so ID2 have the name as a Bob with age 22 and it have the ID as 105 and uh, its label is, is member and is active from 2011. The same is a case with the ID3 with the ID103. So the, the, these are the graph kind of model and uh, depending actually it's no that frequently or that not that uh, famous model it is. Uh, so currently very few uh, level or in the very few project the graph model is used most of the people prefer the either dimensional model or the entity type relationship model this is the um, post relationship model post relation database models are not that famous as the relation database model the second uh, relation uh, post relation database model is object oriented database model where the everything like the person uh, everything in the universe is treated as an object like consider the person as an object it has then it has object means it has attribute it has behavior so here the all the elements are treated as attribute like the name as a character so name as a character employee is employer type 
so if you see employee empl is employee type again employer is a again new more object so it also the address we can treat as a character or we can create one more address object and we can assign that date of birth is of type date here we know that empl is a uh, a, rev, a attribute of the employer so an employer is a one more object which have the attributes like the company name ssn address etc so everything in the object oriented database model is a object so and the relationship between this also occur with the uh, the primary and foreign key constraint so referential integrity is also there as like the relationship database model then what is the party model so so this is very um, common term various time use or many people ask during the interview what kind of the party uh, what kind of the database model you have used so th they particularly looking for the whether I have you used the party model or not or have you used any other database model so party model is um, we can say it is a subset it is um, an enhanced version of the entity uh, relationship database model where each entity is related with uh, each other by their relationship so the party uh, model have some characteristics so why we need to use the party model why don't we go for the other so that question might comes in your mind the reason behind that is is if you design our database that uh, using the party model then it will be more reusable and it is flexible flexible means we can add the extra source we can also create the new relationship also in the exist uh, we can add the new relationship in the existing database design so it is flexible it achieves the abstraction in order to achieve the abstraction of the abstraction means if you go at the broader level so you can enhance or you can implement or you can achieve the extensive extensibility also as like the hierarchy model uh, or the old old database uh, early age database model it is not have the any performance issue the search is very efficient with the party model party can miss the basic thing is like everything party nothing but a it could be a individual or it could be organization so if you are have the in your database detail like uh, if you're going to design the database for the customer or for the organization party model is best suit for that so how can you identify it's the party model or not so each party have association with the party role so if you find that like there there could be possibility of the party role then that means you can probably need to go with the party model so party can be either individual person or the organization so individual person have the like the multiple names like the first name or the last name or the full, uh, previous last name such kind of so each entity have their multiple like uh, multiple names even the organization have their uh, full name or the other name so these are the uh, name attributes uh, also they have the ssn or like identification attributes or uh, date of birth like that kind of attribute so if you have those kind of data then the party model is more suitable for that flexibility uh, so as we also seen that this is flexible so the flexibility to add a new type of uh, your new data system or also it helps to create the relationship between the uh, entities the party might be the examples here given as the party might be employee or contract employee or a contractor or a company so it you can have the contractor means if there is person to person relationship between like the employee and the contractor so the, if you see there is a relation between the employee and the contractor that is a person to person so that means even if you have the person to person relationship also you can go with the party model or you have the company you can go with the party model so party is nothing but individual or the uh, organization so if you have if you are going to master the data of the customer or the organization go with the party model so this is the example of the party model so how I can easily why this is party model if you see in this model 
I can see the party role is one of the table. So that means this is the party role, party tables. Party means, for example, consider the per party as a person. So person has the multiple roles. He might be, um, suppose he, he took some policy, then he is the policy holder is one of the role. That person um, is a is married person. So he is, he is, he is husband to, uh, to, to the woman. So husband is one of the party role. If he has a daughter, then he is a father of that daughter. So the father is again one more party role. So this is a kind of role. So in this model, so there will be only single entry in the database. Doesn't matter how many roles that party is playing. So this is, this is called as a party model. So where the, there will be only minimum unique records will be there in the database. <clears throat> doesn't matter how many roles he is or she is playing party type so why the party type is coming so suppose if you have the party so party could be organization or the individual so that's why the party type is coming here so that given party might be organization or the given party might be individual then how can I relate the party with the addresses like that um, here I wrongly mentioned this party type but it could be the physical address or electronic address or the contact so how can I relate this party with the physical address or the electronic address and the contact? So that can be related using the association table. So the party role address will be the association table, which will play a vital role to achieve the relationship between the party and the address. So now uh, once you have the relationship, it is easy to get the uh, fetch the data and uh, it is the very convenient way of the designing the database model. I hope you understand the, all the database model and uh, how it is used in the application. If you have any questions, you can mention in the video below. Thanks for watching the video.